Cylinder, on the volume of a cylinder. What is it? 3D solid shape that consists of two circular parallel bases connected by a curved surface. Why? Cylinders are one of the most structurally sound and strongest geometrical shapes. Interesting fact, hairs are usually larger than rabbits and have longer ears. Here are the examples that we're going to be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Now let's read the steps. Step one, find the radius and the height. Step two, use the formula. Step three, follow order of operations. Now let's read the question. Find the volume of the cylinder. The volume formula is already on the screen. V is equal to pi times radius squared times your height. Now let's take a look at the cylinder. They gave us two measurements, four centimeters and one centimeter. Four centimeters is your radius and one centimeter is your height. Before we substitute those two measurements into the formula, let's take a look at one of the bases for this cylinder. The bases for cylinders are circles. Now let's find the area for this circle using the area formula. And the area formula is area is equal to pi times radius squared, which is the first part of the volume formula. And we can use the four centimeters that they gave us as the radius. Let's substitute that into the formula. And now we have area is equal to pi times four squared, where four squared is 16. And now we have area is equal to 16 pi centimeters squared. So that is the area of one of the bases. Now we can go ahead and go back to the cylinder. And we now can find the volume with the two measurements that they gave us. Four centimeters once again is the radius. One centimeter is the height. And now we can go ahead and substitute those two numbers into the formula. And now we have volume is equal to pi times four squared times one. Let's continue with the order of operations and square four. And the result of that is 16. Now we have volume is equal to pi times 16 times one. And 16 times one is 16. So now we have volume is equal to pi times 16. Lastly, we're just going to flip the pi and 16 because we usually put the irrational number second. And let's add our units. And in this case, it is going to be centimeters cubed since we're dealing with volume. So our final answer is 16 pi centimeters cubed. Before we move on to example two, since cylinders are just an infinite number of circles stacked on top of each other, let's add another four centimeter radius circle with a height of one centimeter on top. The height went from one centimeter to two centimeters and our volume increased to 32 pi centimeters cubed. Let's add another. So the volume increased to 48 pi centimeters cubed. So cylinders are just an infinite number of circles stacked on top of each other. Let's add another one. So our volume increased to 64 pi centimeters cubed. Let's add one more. So our volume has increased to 80 pi centimeters cubed. And we're going to add one more just for the fun of it. And our volume increased to 96 pi centimeters cubed. And once again, cylinders are just an infinite number of circles stacked on top of each other. And now let's take a look at example two. Now let's read the question. Find the volume of the cylinder. Volume is equal to pi times radius squared times your height. Let's take a look at the cylinder that they gave us. They gave us two measurements, eight centimeters and 10 centimeters. Eight centimeters represents our radius and 10 centimeters represents our height. Let's substitute those two numbers into the formula. And now we have volume is equal to pi times eight squared times 10. Let's follow the order of operations and square eight. The result of that is 64. Now we have volume is equal to pi times 64 times 10. Let's continue. And the result of multiplying 64 and 10 is 640. Now we have volume is equal to pi times 640. But remember, we got to flip flop those and volume is equal to 640 pi. We can't forget our units. And in this case, it is centimeters cubed. And that is the volume of this cylinder. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer this question. And I will show you the result in three, two, and one. If you got it correct, well done. If not, there's always tomorrow.